This is the Lenovo IdeaPad Gaming 3. And since this is a gaming laptop, we have to test the gaming performance. So I tested five games on the Lenovo IdeaPad Gaming 3, which are Minecraft, Subnautica, Forza Horizon 5, GTA 5, and Fortnite. Now, all of these games ran very well. Most of them performed between 60 and 70 FPS. So let's dive into which performed how. Now, at first I tested out Minecraft and what I noticed with all of these mostly budget gaming laptops or laptops under $1,500 is that their Minecraft um, performance is very similar. So they all perform very well on 12 chunks like 120 FPS. But when I increase it to 24 chunks, we see some performance differences. When I increased it to 24 chunks, the performance dropped down from, from 120 to like 60 to 70 FPS, which is still pretty good performance. But if you built up your world, then you would get an average FPS rate of 50 to 60, but it still dropped down and, and it would be annoying sometimes. And once I cranked it up to 32 chunks, it started lagging and the performance was closer to like 30 to 40 FPS and it did drop down sometimes to 20. And so I would definitely recommend playing Minecraft on 12 chunks and the performance will be amazing. Now, after testing out Minecraft, I tested out Fortnite. I put all of the high settings I was able to set, epic and ultra and whatever settings, and it performed very well. So mostly it ran between 60 to 70 FPS and the game looked amazing. So I was definitely satisfied with the laptop on performing on that game. I tested all of the games while the laptops were plugged in. So I got the best performance. Now, after testing out Fortnite, I tested out Grand Theft Auto 5 and I saw the same performance as before. So it performed very well. I put the max settings on and, and I didn't notice any drops in frames. Uh, I, I drove around the city with a car. I walked around. I, I did everything I could and I would in a game and it performed very well. I didn't notice any sudden drops in frames and it was a steady 70 to 80 FPS. So I was definitely satisfied with its performance. Now moving on from GTA 5 to Forza Horizon 5. Now there was a difference there because this is a more demanding game. I set the maximum settings on which were high and extreme they were the highest i was able to set and it ran at an fps rate of 40 to 50 and then it sometimes dropped into the high 30s which is pretty good performance from this laptop and the game was definitely enjoyable on this frame rate um, whenever i did notice frame drops it was when i crashed into a tree or just went extremely fast and went off the road. But in normal playing situations, the game was perfectly fine and I had no issues playing the game. After that, I tested out Subnautica and it performed very well. Now, I tested it out on the highest settings possible with shaders and I went around the world to see how it performed in different places and it performed the exact same and it reached an FPS rate of around 70 to 80 FPS, which is good performance for this game. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed uh, and have a great day.